Does your warehouse look like this? Loads of kit, left over from projects. It's just gathering dust. A lot of this equipment might have some cost into it, might not have been written off just yet. Or it has, and it's just left over from projects, but it's basically like old fruit. It's just depreciating in value over time, and at some point or another, it's gonna be absolutely worthless, and you'll just be scrapping the whole lot, and then you won't get a bean for it. So what do you do? do you leave it there, or do you do something about it? Right, okay, here's a great idea. Maybe this is something you do already. Hand it over to an asset recovery company who scraps anything with zero value, and then they'll make an offer for you. And it might not be the right price um, because they've got to build in their profit margin and resell it onto the uh, market. Or they might need to put it into stock. So in which case, if they put it into stock, they need to buy it at a very low price. But it's quite wasteful because um, you could be getting a much better price for it if you have the equipment and have somebody like us resell it for you. The equipment belongs to you, it's in your warehouse, or we bought it into stock here, okay? So, now, if you sell it to an asset recovery company, let's say for argument's sake the market price for a used part is £2,000. A refurbished price is £2,500, or maybe even £3,000. Why? Because it's been tested, it's been resprayed, it's had accessories added to it, the blanking panels have all been um, replaced, it's been put in a professionally refurbished box. You s the, 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 the demand for a refurbished device, okay, is different from a used. Uh, they're not happy with something turning up that's been packed in bubble wrap. They want it to be professionally refurbished in box. They might be delivering direct to their end user customer site and they're not going to be happy if they get a piece of junk turn up. They're going to want to see something look like how it might turn up from Cisco Refresh. So, in which case, as the owner of the equipment, you're going to get a higher price. So, if that equipment is in your warehouse or our warehouse or whatever and we're remarketing it for you, okay, and we're remarketing it to a, uh, to a customer that is shopping around for uh, a used part, but actually what they're looking for is refurbished. Instead of paying £2,000, they'll pay £3,000 for it. Refurbishing equipment doesn't co uh, come free of charge. I mean, we've got four guys refurbishing the equipment. We've got uh, two guys... Two engineers um, testing the equipment morning, noon and night, okay? That costs money to do that, but there are people that are prepared to pay for to have something looking nice and refurbished. And in which case, you as the owner of the equipment are, are gonna be much happier uh, about, instead of getting a thousand pounds for that device because it's used, okay? You may get 1,500 pounds or even 2,000 pounds for that because we found that customer that has that need for a refurbished part. It's all about supply and demand. Not everybody wants to have a refurbished part, but there are people out there that do. And all of our customers expect refurbished equipment. We don't supply equipment that's just used. We supply equipment that's been professionally refurbished. And, you know, people don't hit you over the head for £100 to get something that looks you know, uh, as good as you can get. So that's the reason why we can command a higher price for the equipment that you've got gathering dust in your warehouse. So if you have surplus or redundant Cisco equipment, send us a list of what you have and we can get started to get you the best value for it.